you stop focusing on trying to heal your past traumas and all of these ideas and concepts and going to people that say they can coach your life for you and help you heal if you just surrender completely and let it all go all of your past traumas will heal themselves because all of what you call trauma was due to you identifying with the human consciousness which is a traumatic existence itself because it's all based on the idea that one day I'm going to die and this body is who I am and somebody could kill me or hurt me and all of those thought processes is what allows trauma to even be conceived and I know from experience that's the thing about me and my channel I speak from experience because I've been through with this world every type of traumatic experience you could imagine <laughs> So I'm not somebody that just had this beautiful, peaceful life and existence that comes say, I'm telling you, if you just surrender completely and let it all go, it'll heal itself. I'm not saying that from somebody that didn't have all kind of crazy traumas and things happen. I did. I surrendered completely. Let everything go. I mean, totally. And then phew, the shift in the process began. When you surrender completely, you lose the person that trauma happened to. When you completely surrender, the one that anything happened to leaves and continues dissolving, continues dissolving as long as you don't let the world pull you back in. stay one pointed everything starts healing itself your body starts rewiring your brain starts rewiring your nervous system starts resetting once you surrender completely to what is and you allow grace and the divine to start working within you everything happens naturally because everything here is nature and as evolution happened naturally it's just that projection that we create of who we think we are that gets in the way of us thinking that nature is taking its course because it's taking its course regardless we just create this mind and this ego that thinks we're in control of something mother nature will have her way it's unfolding. The ending of all trauma suffering is complete surrender. That's it. Those strong thoughts and belief systems of, yeah, but how could I just, if I don't work, what are you doing? Like, what is working through it? What, what even is that? You're going to talk to another being that thinks they're a person that has healed their traumas to help you work on and heal yours. What, how do you heal a trauma? What, what is there? The only way you heal truly is surrendering the one that needs to heal. I know. Through this incarnation and this experience I've shared before, I dealt with drug addiction. I've been in and out of institutions, rehab facilities, all of these things since a teenager. I got clean. I've been clean over 10 years. I did work on myself, you know, 12 steps. I've been working on myself. But I say that to say this, and this is how I know, even after, what was it? Because my shift, my great shift just happened over this last year so I had eight nine years of being clean and working still and doing all of this and I'm not saying that that wasn't beneficial but I still was suffering beyond words because there was still something 
going on. And it was the fact that though I did all of that work on myself, I was still trying to operate from being somebody, trying to be somebody or projecting to somebody that I thought I had to be. You know, in the steps, there's a, there's one you work through about focusing on all, all of your character defects and working through and becoming willing to let God remove them. But after my shift and everything happened, I realized the character is the defect. Surrender the character and there are no more defects of character. It's about surrender. Surrender really is the master key. And love is the master key, but complete surrender is unconditional love because you're just giving away yourself completely to love. You're accepting that, okay, I, I, I can't do it. My way and what I think and what I've been trying has led me to this point. of unmeasurable suffering that I just can't do it anymore. And it's because you've created a being, a somebody, that's not operating in the highest form of love. And through operating from this conditional state of love, because you think you have to be somebody, you're gonna continue suffering until you surrender completely. You know, I don't have any ill will or anything against anybody because I know everyone is just another one at their part in the journey. But I just really don't see thinking somebody else can help you with something that's going on with you. Just no one else can help you. Your journey is your journey for a reason. The thought and concept that somebody else can help free you is what's keeping you bound. You're already free. Let go of that one that thinks somebody else can help free them. That's the one that has to go for you to realize you were free this whole time. It's all trying to speak on what can't be spoken for. The one that has had trauma happen to him, that's not really you. Who you truly are, nothing can and will or has ever happened to you. Take it how you want to take it. You're free to choose. It's just about letting go. But it has to be you wherever you are and the level you're willing to surrender because it's all perceptual. Like if I tell you complete surrender, you're just gonna take that to mean whatever complete surrender means to you. I'm saying surrender the person that has to surrender. Like just, I don't know, find a way to let it all go. The reason I say it really can't be spoken for is because I can't explain what I did or how it happened. It's it's beyond all explanation. It's like nothing happened. The end of all happenings is what took place. Like I let it all go. I was done. And that somebody left. And I just became pure beingness. I am this just existence itself. That's truly all we are. We're no thing. We're the source of energy that breathes life into all things, which is one thing. Find a way to let go. Nobody else can do it for you. Nobody can help you heal your traumas. Nobody can coach your life for you. You're having this experience individually for a reason. It's for you to learn and grow and let go and transcend. Nobody can do it for you.
Love you. Stay up.